Ever wondered what the super rich social calendar looks like? Well, there are pricey events that you'd have to cough upwards of 10 grand just to get in. Then there are super exclusive parties, even a golden ticket won't grant you access. You'd need to be a multi-millionaire or top tier celebrity to get an invite. In this video, we check out the most exclusive events organized and attended by the super rich and famous. We're talking about the who-who's with uninhibited budgets and work hours looking for fun ways to spend their wealth. Stick to the end as we tell and give you a sneak peek at the most private rich people parties yet. But before that, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So let's get started. Michael Rubin's All White Party if we're talking about one of the biggest star-studded parties of the year, Michael Rubin's all-white party would be at the top. This exclusive Hollywood affair is attended by nearly every big name in Hollywood, from actors and actresses to singers, rappers, athletes, socialites, and comedians. But before we talk about what this event is about and who actually attended this year's edition, let's answer one key question. Who is Michael Rubin? Rubin is a multi-billionaire worth over $11 billion as of this video who owns Fanatics, an online sports merchandise retail company. So every year on the 4th of July, Ruben holds a grand and exclusive party in his $50 million grand beachfront Bridge Hampton Mansion in the Hamptons. And every year, A-listers throng the event with outfits and accessories worth hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. This year, some notable faces included Jay-Z and Beyonce, who rarely, if ever, miss Gillian Mbappe, Tom Brady, Kevin Hart, James Harden, Jennifer Lopez, and Ben Affleck, Kim Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Bieber, the list is endless. In fact, the guest list was rumored to have included 350 personalities. As for entertainment, Neo Usher and Jack Harlow were among the performances for the night. Summer Camp for Billionaires even the most serious billionaires like to unwind, socialize, and just have fun sometimes. And that's what Summer Camp for Billionaires, a once-in-a-year retreat held in Sun Valley Lodge and Spa in Sun Valley, Idaho, is all about. The exclusive event is organized by Allen & Co., and it includes a week of outdoor social activities like tennis, hiking, and parties at Sun Valley Lake. So, who attends this summer camp? You can expect heavy hitters in tech investment markets and business to be in attendance. Meta's Mark Zuckerberg, Apple's Tim Cook, billionaire investor Warren Buffett, Amazon's Jeff Bezos are some faces previously spotted at the event. And as expected, everyone lands on the grounds in a private jet. Aside from the fun and socializing, the summer camp is a playground for multi-million deals. The Bohemian Grove Retreat these are super exclusive clubs in the world that regular folks will probably never know about, let alone gain access to. One such ultra-private club is Bohemian Club. The elite-only, invite-only male club in San Francisco was founded over a century and a half ago by a group of male journalists, writers, artists, actors, and lawyers. With time, it was expanded to include politicians, former presidents, and elite businessmen. Some notable members over the years included Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, Mark Twain, Clint Eastwood, Jack London, and Henry Kissinger. Now, the club is best known for its annual summer retreat dubbed Bohemian Grove, which goes down in July on a 2,700-acre campground in Sonoma County, California. So what exactly happens in these retreats? Well, the retreat is the perfect place for the ultra-rich and powerful to escape everyday life and misbehave unrestricted. The attendings do everything from heavy drinking to secret talks and super weird traditional rituals. But the event is so secretive that we can only speculate about what happens and draw conclusions from those who infiltrated the gathering. What we do know is that business talks are not allowed and people get to break the rules of civilized society. Given the mystery surrounding Bohemian Grove and what the rich actually do, there have been conspiracy theories and protests around the time it goes down. But these have never stopped members from attending religiously every year. Paul Allen's Yacht Party at Cannes The Cannes Film Festival is one of the big three film festivals in the world and is considered the most prestigious film event in the world. As you can imagine, the event is a big deal attracting film directors, producers, distributors, actors, actresses, socialites, and celebrities. Around 20 films premiere at the event, all competing for the Grand Can Prize, the Palm d'Or, which translates to Golden Palm. Now, the festival alone is not the only reason people gather on the French Riviera. 
Paul Allen's after party on one of the largest super yachts has become one of Cannes' attractions. The 414-foot yacht dubbed the Octopus is so massive that it still looks empty when hosting hundreds of guests. The custom-made boat has 40 guest suites, two helicopter pads, a swimming pool, a basketball court, a mini submarine, and a music studio. The billionaire has made it a tradition to host mega parties during Cannes with a different cinematic theme every year. Everything from the deco to entertainment, food and drinks is simply grand. Ronald Perelman's annual New Year's Eve birthday in St. Bart's Most people would be happy with some barbecue and a big cake on the birthday, but not Ronald Perelman. The billionaire American banker, investor, and businessman likes to go big on his birthdays, and his parties have earned a reputation as one of the grandest celebrations in the year. Extreme extravagance is the best word to describe Perelman's multi-million birthday party, which kicks off on New Year's Eve. The party has historically been held on the billionaire's 188-foot yacht, known as the Ultima 3, on the Caribbean islands of St. Bart's and it features lavish food, expensive wines, and a celebrity-filled guest list. Different kinds of celebrities have graced the event over the years, with some notable names including Paul Allen, Denzel Washington, Eddie Murphy, and Usher. The scenes from the party are usually over-the-top and magical. Just as the clock is about to strike midnight, ushering in the new year, every one of the rich and famous guests gather on the observation deck of the boat to count down to the new year and then sing Perelman Happy Birthday. This is followed by a spectacular fireworks show covering the Caribbean night sky. And of course, he always flies a famous singer to sing him happy birthday. Kappa Beta Phi Annual Back Tie Dinner Who said frat parties end when you graduate from college? If you decided to venture into finance and get really good at it, and I mean really good, then you might just get an invite to the Kappa Beta Phi Dinner. The Kappa Beta Phi is a super exclusive fraternity made up of Wall Street's biggest names. We're talking about the most famous investors in the world, plus executives from top banks, private equity firms, and major hedge funds. Now, the fraternity is nothing new. In fact, it's nearly a century old, tracing back to 1929, just before the infamous Great Depression hit. And while everyone else in the rest of the country was struggling to get by, the fraternity continued to hold their lavish annual parties. After all, their motto, which is in Latin, translates to, while we live, we eat and drink. The event is actually an induction dinner that goes down at the St. Regis, and it's the only time the fraternity meets to welcome new members and, of course, have fun. So, what do you need to do to get into this dinner party? Well, it's an invite only. You can only get a seat at the table if they deem you worthy. The Met Gala After Parties There's only one Met Gala usually held on the first Monday of May, and we can all agree it's undoubtedly the highlight of fashion. With celebrities investing in multi-million dollar outfits from the most recognized and exclusive designers, a ticket can cost no less than $50,000 and not everyone can get it. But the celebrations don't stop once the gala ends. Instead, the after party begins and goes on well into the early hours of Thursday. The gala attendees change into their night fits and hit up as many exclusive parties as possible. By midnight, there are a lot of celebrity studded exclusive after parties in New York City. And every year, the hosts and themes change. The highlights for this year include Stella McCartney and Baz Luhrmann's star-studded bash at Zero Bond, Michaela Cole's after-party at Lucy's at Moxie, the Standard Hotel's annual after-party at the Boom Boom Room hosted by Janelle Monet, and of course, Diddy and Doja Cat's The After 2023 Party at The Box. So, what do you think of these parties? What have we left out? Leave your comments below. For more luxury videos, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.